What's up friends? By this point you've probably seen a ton of unboxing videos for the Xbox Series X, but I guarantee you haven't seen one unboxed with the Master Sword from Legend of Zelda. Before I unbox this bad boy though, I'm gonna read what Xbox wants you guys to know because they put it on the box. So 4K gaming at up to 120 frames per second, up to 8K high dynamic range. I don't know anyone who owns an 8K TV. I saw one for the first time like a couple weeks ago in Best Buy. I mean, they look phenomenal, but they are way out of my price range. Xbox velocity architecture. I don't really know what that means, but it sounds cool. Uh, variable refresh rate, cool. 4K Blu-ray player, that's pretty standard. Comes with the Xbox Series X console and the wireless controller, uh, ultra high speed HDMI, um, as well as wireless networking capability. I'm sad Master Chief is not a launch title, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so power your dreams, cool. Game Pass, you know, lets you play, you know, all the old games. This is fully backwards compatible with like every Xbox game. Um, yeah, play thousands of games across four generations of Xbox. That's amazing. Unlimited access to hundreds of high quality games with Game Pass, fastest, most powerful Xbox ever. Okay, I hate that. That's like a pet peeve of mine whenever they go, the best iPhone ever, the best Xbox ever. Really, you mean until next year when you make another one? Stop saying ever. You could say this year or to date or, you know, like so far or the, just say the best Xbox. Now, I'm aware there are these little tabs to help you like remove the tape, but I brought the Master Sword from home, you know? And I'm gonna use it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, there we go. See, Master Sword totally helped as I made link noises. Now. Cool. That is that. Um, hopefully it doesn't just. Fall nope. Out. Nope. I am a professional at something. This is not it though. Power your dreams. So the aesthetic of this box is way more impressive than the PlayStation Five. I mean, I love the PS Five once you start playing it. But look at this. This looks like a Christmas present that you don't want to open, but you do at the same time because it's so pretty. So, let's. Much lighter than the PlayStation 5 as well and much more compact. So I'm gonna use this to, uh, no, no, that's, it just slips off. There we go. Tape, yes, finally, the moment has come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, it worked. <laughs> so uh, there it is. This is the, uh, oh, it has a kickstand built in. So that's how it goes, I imagine. Uh, no, it doesn't actually float golf balls or ping pong balls or don't vape through these, whatever dumb people are doing online, I don't recommend it. That's really pretty and uh, super compact. I mean, uh, roll the slow-mo. I actually really like this design way more than I thought I did from the pictures and videos online. Uh, what do you think? Do you guys like this? I know it looks like a fridge and in fact, it was turned into a fridge for like Snoop Dogg and people but it's really cool, uh, super compact, it's sleek. I like the matte finish. Uh, the only issue I have really with the design is when you put it sideways. Why is this stand built into the bottom? It, it looks like it's kind of lopsided. I mean, at least on the PS5, this comes off. You can put it on or not. This, you're kind of stuck with it for better or for worse. So if it fits in your home setup like this, I think that looks better aesthetically, but I'm not a home interior designer, whatever you do you. So there's three physical buttons on the front. You have the disc eject. Uh, I'm assuming this is to pair with a controller. And then of course the Xbox symbol, which turns the system on and off. And yes, it does make the same noise. Uh, there's also another USB port. You can see though, even though this is a matte finish, my fingerprints are already showing up all over this guy. I was trying to wipe it with my shirt and it's really not that easy to remove. Um, not a huge deal, not a deal breaker by any means, but just something to uh, be aware of. Let's look at the controller now because I forgot to get it out of the box. Total oversight when I took it out initially. Uh, but the, an oversight. Uh, yeah, they packaged it so well. Um, yeah, I didn't, even, I didn't even know there was a box in a box other than the Xbox in the box. Regardless of whether you're into Xbox or PlayStation, I believe the unboxing experience was infinitely better with the Xbox Series X. It just looks so clean. That may be because I was unboxing a PS5 on a rooftop in a Spider-Man suit that I couldn't really see out of. If you haven't seen that video, click here because it's fine. So we have an ultra high speed HDMI cord here and the power cord and of course, directions, whatever, turn it on, right? The control. So this is the new controller. Uh, it came with AA batteries, so they don't have a built-in rechargeable system like the PlayStation 5 does, which is fine. But it does have USB-C now, which is really great. Um, Feel-wise, uh, I like the grip aesthetic on the back. It has 
kind of little bumps to help you hold it a little bit better. I do prefer the PlayStation 5 controller immediately. Honestly, I mean, this is great, it's comfortable, but I don't know, that touchpad in the center of the PS5 and the way that it has that little port you can blow into to make things happen in the game, I feel like the PlayStation 5 controller is way more interactive and it lends itself to letting you feel more immersed in your game. Not that this is bad by any means, it feels great, fits well, you know, have your plus button, um, what is this, like a capture button now? I don't even know, I didn't look up enough about it apparently, but yeah, it's pretty much, what you expect from Xbox, but their old controller was near perfect anyway if you're not looking for those extra bells and whistles the PlayStation 5 went through. So you can't go wrong with one of these guys. Now I could totally be way off base right here because I just played the PlayStation 5 controller yesterday, but this feels smaller than the Xbox One controller, slightly. Um, feels better, I think, because the other one just felt like it didn't fit in my hand quite as well. Uh, the D-pad on this feels way better than on the Xbox One controller. So yeah, I have no qualms with this other than now that I've used the PS5 controller, I'm kind of spoiled with all the extra peripherals that it has with the dual sense and the haptic triggers and things like that. But this definitely will get the job done. Really no complaints. As a lifelong fan of Xbox, I want to want this, but having a PlayStation 5 and a PC, I just don't feel like there's anything Xbox has done to make me desire this piece of hardware. I mean, my computer can play the games that this plays mostly. Um, the controller is great, it fits well, nothing's wrong with it, but it's not screaming next gen at me like the PS5 controller is. So if you don't have a PlayStation 5, if you don't have a gaming PC, for sure, pick one of these up. But otherwise, I, I need more of a reason and incentive to get this. If Halo was only available on this, that would probably be enough for me to get this. But since it's gonna be on computer, it's holding me from buying one. So that's just my thoughts. What do you guys think? Comment below, like, comment, subscribe, share, always helps the channel. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.